What is going on guys, DBG here, and this is going to be another tier list in NBA 2K20 on my team. This is going to be the best centers tier list, lads. So, if you guys are new to the channel, subs subscribe. We upload more my team content here than anywhere else. We are trying to 265k subs by the end of the month. We're about 2,600 or so away, so we are somewhat close. And again, if we could somehow hit that by the end of this month, that would be absolutely incredible, lads. So, yeah, basically, this is going to be just primary centers. The reason why we're sticking to just primary centers is because, well, just for consistency. Like, again, there's no point having two players, one player on two different tier lists because, well, like, you can't place the same player, small forward and power forward. It's not like 2K19 with the double Hedo glitch. And there are 90 players here, so we're going to be trying to get through about three a minute. So, Alvin Adams. I, know, I reckon D, he's not bad though. It's just, there's a lot of good centers. So, like I'm not even going to say D tier means bad because it just doesn't. D tier is pretty solid. Like D tier is still usable. I reckon E tier and worthless tier. Heck, there might even be, there might even not be a worthless tier, but... Alvin Adams D tier, I do not think he's too bad. He shoots well enough, he moves well, he has 70 total badges, he's a little bit small. AD. Hmm. Screw it, I'll go ABC for ADs. I don't, again, I don't think there's much of a difference between any of these ADs, to be honest. Um, The Dark Matter AD, I don't like Anthony Davis in 2K, but there are people that really do like him. But I have never really been a fan of AD, so for me, he's not like I'm not anywhere near as high on the guy as a lot of people are. So like for me, he'd be border like this. It would be borderline looking like this, but I'll have him like this for now. Arvida Sabonis, Sabonis. He's like he's solid. He's a solid player. He's seven three moves, decent jump shot. I mean, you can argue A tier for Sabonis. You really can. I'm going to put him in B for now. But I reckon... I reckon B, he might get moved up to A. So again, he is a giant. He does a pro... I think he does a pro 2, but he can't carry. His player model is nice. His release is mediocre. But everything else about him is pretty good. So I'm going to put him B for now, but he might go up to... Screw it. I'm going to put him A for now. Bam out of bio. Both bombs are going the same tier. This bomb is better on next gen. This bomb is better on current current gen. If you guys don't know, they're very similar stats wise. Where on this bomb right here, B tier. Uh, or say this bomb right here, the dark matter is an inch taller, which actually helps him on next gen. On oh, sorry, on current gen, but it doesn't help him on next gen. Like he can't carry slide anyway on current gen. But on next gen, he's actually too heavy to curry slide when he's taller. He's in his taller, but he can curry slide on that B tier once. So he can kind of isolate a lot easier, shot create a lot easier with him. Whereas you can't do that at all with the center bam or with the 6 foot 10 bam. So on current gen, I will say the Opal's or the Dark Matter is better. On next gen, I'm going to say the Opal's better. So I'm going to put them both in B tier though. Ben Simmons A. Like he's. He, on next gen especially, is just the same as the other Ben Simmons. Like, the only difference is this one is less hot zones. And yeah, he's a little bit worse three-point shooting, but it's very easy to get him above 90. And then at that, when it's above 90, it's all just based on you. Um, hot zones don't really matter on next gen either. But he still does a lot of very similar things to the point guard Ben, except he obviously can't play point guard. And for me, it doesn't even matter whether it's point guard, small forward. He's still super, super effective. Like, he was my... He was my main man for quite a while, honestly. And he's still there or thereabouts in my squad. Like, it's between... It all depends on how I'm feeling. It's between him and Manu Bol for my small forward position. And he's, like... He, ben Simmons hasn't put a foot wrong, so honestly, Manu Bol might lose the spot. Ben Wallace. Hey, ben Wallace is so good. Oh, my God. His release is cash. His movement's elite. He, get, he gets good defensive animations. He shoots it well. His stats are essentially... Stats and bodies are essentially an invincible card. I'm telling you, this guy here. 
This guy here is an absolute demon in game. He's easily, easily one of the top better cards in this game. So he's going A tier. Bill, no brainer, S tier. Absolute, there has been no easier player to uh, rate in this entire thing than Bill Russell in S tier. He will be probably an S. You could make the argument, you will be able to make the argument at the end of the game that he is the best player. Say not the best player, he's a top tier card in the game. No question. Bill Walton, D, but I don't like him. D, but I really don't like him. Boban sucks. I'm just saying this guy now, Boban is not as good as Simbular. Like, Boban's only 7-3, and I know I say only 7-3, but like, freaking Arvita Sabonis is 7-3. Boban can't do anything except being tall. Like, Simbular is better than him. Mirasan's like, no-brainer better than him. So... Yeah, let me just see what... We're going to go lower tiers now. You kind of suck. Uh, I don't know why I have Bobby Portis. I've never used Bobby Portis. I don't know why I have him on the list. So I'm going to move Bobby Portis to the end because I've not used him, so there's no point in talking about him. Um, Ewing. I'll go Ewing E tier. I'm going to go... Sim Vular and Taco both E tier. Not obviously the Invincible Taco, the other Taco. Hmm. On Yeka Kongwu is not great. Neither is Nas Reed. I gotta give D tier. D tier. I'm gonna put Trez and Worthless because Trez kind of sucks. Montrez Harrell. He kind of sucks. I'm just making sure because, again, like, again, I've used him once and he did not feel good yet. 80, small 83 three ball. And no hot zones. Yeah, yeah. Trez. Trez can go with the word. It's like, for, in a lot of ways, he is better than these guys. These guys are a little more cheese. Okay. Who else is low? I mean, Mitchell Robinson really. I'll go D tier for Mitchell Robinson. Mike is probably C. Capella. Actually, Capella without the duo is D tier. Like, when he gets the duo, he's alright, but, like, why would you ever use Trey Young? So, D tier. I've never used Larry Markin either. I don't know why, again, he's on this list. I think that's it. Him, Tyson Chandler. Probably D tier, but Tyson Chandler's not. He probably is that tier, but he's not awful. Either. Screw it. I'm going to move on Yaka and Mitchell down one tier. I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to move Sim down. Screw it. I'm going to move Ewing down to Worthless as well. Um, okay, now we're back on uh, normal service hazards. Doing Bob McAdoo. B tier, but he's not that much worse than Ben Wallace. Like, if you want to argue Bob McAdoo in A tier, I mean, I don't necessarily agree with you, but I'm not. I don't disagree with you strongly enough that I will argue it. Okay, then we have got Brooke Lopez. So, Brooke Lopez, again, Brooke Lopez is one of the super, super underrated cards in this game, honestly. Brooke Lopez is a... He is an incredible, incredible card, lads. So... Yeah, I'm gonna go... B, best in B. I'm going to go best in B for him. That is where we're going to put in Brook Lopez. He is going to go in best of B. He's got a decent, like an above average release. Like Lopez base, is it the greatest release in the world? No, it's good on a big man. I don't like it as a three hunter, but it's really nice on a big man. I guess as far as catch and shoot goes, it's really good. Like you're not going to be really able to create with it, but it's fine. Parsons. 
D. He's actually pretty good on next gen, but he's like worthless on current gen, so I'll go D. Maybe, no, screw E. Because I didn't realize just how bad his release was on current gen. He's really good on next gen though, so I can't put him worthless. Fry, D. I mean, he just, just is kind of there. Oakley's not good, E. Oakley sucks. Bosch, B. I'm not gonna say Bosch is better than this idea or better than Lopez. But Bosch is good, especially for his price. Chris Bosch is a really good card. Chris Boucher, I'm gonna put Chris Boucher in C tier. He's got a nice player build, long wingspan. I know it only says 7'4", it's definitely longer. Maybe just because he's so skinny. His release is, I mean, it's tough to talk about his release because it looks awkward. And I've been in, I've used him again once or twice. And there were a few times when I was just shooting around with him that I was green a four or five in a row. And then I just started breaking with him. And I haven't used the release enough to be consistent with it. To be honest, like again, I took a couple of shots with him online. I've just played or I've just messed around with him in freestyle. That's basically my experience of most, any of the Season Rewind cards I've used, most of my experience with them is just messing around, just testing out their animations. Because um, I just happen to be on an account with them. So a lot of the times there's an account with players I've never used, I will just mess around with them just to feel what they're like. But he was really good defensively on his diamond, so I think C tier is probably fair. Lightner, D. If Lightner had a better release, Lightner would be C, B. I'm going to go D for Lightner. Lightner's not bad, though. Lightner's really not bad. Christian Wood... B pushing A. For Christian Wood, I'm going to say B pushing A. The guy is class. He's like mini Bill Russell. Ray Allen base can move, can handle it. He's definitely A tier on next gen. I don't think he's A tier on current gen though. He does, and he doesn't have the defense of Bill Russell. I'm so tempted to put him up to A. I'm gonna leave him at B for now, but I know this is gonna be the most divide. Um, like this is gonna be the one that will divide the comment section the most because me having him B tier, the next gen guys are going to complain. But I've used him on current and he wasn't very good, so I'm gonna go B tier. Granger. I mean, if Granger could play small forward, he'd be all right. He's like worthy with a worse position. I mean, if we're talking, screw it. Granger's better than Bam. What am I doing? Grange is better than Bam. B tier. D Rob. I still like D Rob. I'm putting D Rob in B tier. I still really like Dave Robinson. I think his jumper is good. I think he moves well. I think kind of everything about D Rob, except for slasher dribble style, is really good. Like that for me is the one kind of negative, but I still like him. David Robinson S. One of the best centers in the game. No brainer S tier here. He's absolutely incredible, lads. Like, David Robinson's shooting's good. Again, his movement is elite. He's as good now as the other D-Rob was when that D-Rob came out. DeAndre Ayton. I don't like this Ayton. There's a new Ayton that came out today, though, that I forgot about. That's probably that's going in A tier. I did make this list yesterday. But, um... New Ayton's gonna go into A tier. This Ayton, C. He's alright. DeAndre Jordan, C tier. Like, you can argue B tier. It's just, I think the guys in B tier, all of them can can shoot almost as well as Jordan. Except they can all score a layup. Like, if you get contested around the rim, he's missing every time. So, like, unless you're triggering dunk animations, I know you might say, oh, I don't trigger dunk animations, but for the vast majority of players, you're, they're going to trigger those animations. If you're stuck and you get the ball in the post, and you can't post up a six-foot tall player. His rebounding is okay. He's flawed. He's flawed, but he's really good. So, I mean, I wouldn't put him as that much different. I wouldn't rate him higher than Pink Diamond AD. So, if you want to put him B tier, it's fine. I'm going to put him C tier, though. Buggy! Buggy is going B. 6'10", still not got a great release. Dribbling, meh. B tier. Dikembe. Dikembe is best in A right now. Best in A. He might get moved up to S. I just need to see what other players are going to be there. Dino Raja, A tier. Seriously, seriously good. Dino's movement, incredible. His jumper, I mean, slightly above average. 
but the 7-Eleven wingspan is what separates him from a lot of others. Okay, then we have got Dirk Nowitzki. Dirk, I mean, this Dirk is D tier, but I mean, he's not terrible. Dwight Howard, A. He's not as good as Dikembe. His jumper is iffy. I think that's the best way to describe it. Like, it's not awful. It is iffy. Like, it's not good enough that I can say it's good. It's not bad enough that I can say it's, like, Tim Duncan bad. If not, it is just iffy. Eddie freaking Curry. C. Where, who did I drag? Where did I drag Eddie Curry to? Okay, I accidentally dragged Eddie Curry to Worthless to go C tier. Did I have him down? I'm pretty sure I had him down. Yeah, I'll go, I'll stick with that anyway. This Eddie Curry, A. Again, he's a little better. If he wasn't such, if his release wasn't so good, he'd be down in B. He does not move like last year's Eddie Curry. Eddie Curry was the best moving center in the game, not named James Wiseman and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. He moved better than the Shaq. He moved better than the Wilt. He, heck, he even moved better than that Yao Ming. In terms of like ability to three hunt and just dan like just dancing around screens and everything with um, any center, Eddie Curry was second probably only, or third only to Dino Raja and James Wiseman last year. But thing is, it's, it's not Eddie's time, I guess. It's not his time. Okay, then we got George Mikan. I mean, Mikan's low C tier. Mikan's okay. Mirasan. I mean, if we're talking next gen, one of the most underrated cards in the game, I'm going low A tier for Mirasan. Like, if you're asking me who I would rather run Mirasan or Anthony Davis, I'm taking Mirasan every time. Mirasan or Dwight Howard, I'm taking Mirasan. And on current gen, he's still glitchy. But. I mean, you can argue him down in B tier. I just really like Mirasan. This Giannis here, uh, he's like B tier on current on next gen. He's A tier on current. I'll go A, but it's a close one. Hakeem, Hakeem. Hmm. I don't really like that release. I'm gonna move some people down. I'm gonna start moving people. So. You go down. 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 Oh, this is this is a tough one. You go down. Eddie freaking Curry, you go down. Okay, I'm happier with that. Wiseman A and S. This Wiseman is one of my favorite cards in the game, and this Wiseman is basically the same thing. Like, there is almost zero difference between these two James Wisemans. And again, like, I, I use this Wiseman as my starting center for ages, and I upgrade to this James Wiseman. They feel the exact same. They're... It did not feel like there was a sl even the slightest difference between between the two wise men. It didn't feel like there's even the slightest difference. Okay, we are we're on a bit of a time crunch right now, and I've just realized we are 18 or 19 minutes in. Jaron Jackson Jr. C tier. He was pretty good for his time though. Um, Jared Allen. Um, B tier, but he's honestly not the different than Moses Malone, who I I have him on the list, don't I? In all reality, I pro or not likely that I probably do have him on the list. Doesn't matter anyway. Embiid, C. Embiid, C. Embiid, A. Um, Valanciunas, Cruz release, E tier. Julius, er, or Julius Randle, sorry, D tier again. He's only six foot eight and has got very weak badges. Maybe you can argue him in C tier. Use of Nurkic. You are, you summarize everything that was wrong with the start of season eight. You're not actually worthless. You're probably C tier, E tier, maybe even D tier in game, but I'm putting you on worthless for just because of what you symbolize. Ream, B and S. Um, I never really liked this Ream, and this Ream is current gen god, not great on next gen. Cat, B, 
Not a great release. Um, Carl Malone. I don't know. I don't know. D. I guess. Kevin Dur Kevin Durant. B. Can't really play center, but I think he's all right. He's apparently he's great in current gen. He's only all right on next gen. He really is only okay on next gen. Kevin Love. B tier. Low B, by the way. Low B. I'm also going to move Bosch down to C tier. I'm going to move... Hmm... You know what, Kevin Love, you got into C tier. I do like Kevin Love, though. Kevin McHale, B tier. He's like worse Dino. Poor Zingus. Now, this is one of the tough ones. Did I for I forgot Bull Bull. Bull Bull, S tier, by the way. Poor Zingus. I'm probably putting Poor Zingus in S tier. He's just like Bull Bull's going there, so Poor Zingus is going there. Poor Zingus is basically just a Bull Bull clone. But um, there's just something about Bull Bull. He moves better. Even though they have the exact same dribble six, the exact same. Jump shots, bowl bowls is better. I don't. It's hard to explain, but bowl bowls is just better. And yeah, I do have Moses Malone. He does not exist in game yet. Aldridge, C. I guess he's meh, but like he's not. He's better than the guys in D here, but he's very meh. This Luka Doncic, I'm not gonna put him worthless because he can cook and triple trap, but yeah, he's just too small. He's like the Lamelo. Magic Johnson, I don't even think he can cook and triple trap. I'm gonna call this Magic worthless. Mark Gasol. Wherever Hakeem is. Hakeem is better, but he's not enough better that I'm putting him in different tiers. So Mark Gasol is going to low B. Mark Eaton, D. I don't know what, what did they do to you, Mark Eaton. What did they do to you? They ruined you. You used to be a force in 2K. You used to be feared in 2K. People used to fear coming up against a 7 for 4 Mark Eaton. In 2K15, you better believe, pre-5 out days, I used to run that gold Mark Eaton. Got him for like 3K MT. That was my starting center. Nobody could deal with him. He was just too big. He was just too big for everybody. Nobody could deal with him. Like, he was so tall that I remember before Yao Ming, I think, can't remember who it was I used to have in my squad. Was it Emerald Myers Leonard or something? That I used to run... Just in case I can hold against Mark Eaton to just shoot him out. Shoot him out of the game, boy. Those days are gone. Bagley. You know what? Bagley's good. C tier. Bagley is very, very good. Especially on next gen, Bagley's good. Bonner. I mean, net, right now he's E tier, but I mean, Bonner had his time. Bonner was good for his time. Mo Bamba, I'm going E tier as well, but Mo Bamba had his time. He was good for his time. This Mo Bamba. A tier, but he's a high A tier card. He's high A tier. Mo Bamba. This Mo Bamba is as good as the song, lads. He is as good as the song. Uh, thankfully, we've had three years where we've had a good Mo Bamba in all three of the years. It's just a pity he came out the same day as Spotlight Sims and no one even re realized this card was even released. Mo Bamba is a bit like the current modern day version of this Joel Embiid. Came out the same day as Sims and no one remembers him. Nate Thurmond. I'm putting Nate Thurmond in D tier. I got him today. Messed around a little bit. He's not good. Like, he's not good at all. Like, he's not unusably bad, but, I mean, if you're, if you're asking me whether he's good or not, the answer is not. Nick Batum, A, because of what he can do at the point guard position. He's class. And again, just to keep some consistency when you're doing a primary position, it's like, yeah, he's a primary center, but like, let's be real. Everyone's using a point guard, and he's so nice a point guard. He's one of the best point guards in the game on next gen, so I'm going to go A tier. Yeah, you can put him low in A tier, but in my opinion, Batum, a point guard, is is better than KD, a two guard. Next gen bias. Is, is there a next gen bias in that? Probably. Do I care? No. <laughs> um, Nikola Jokic, S. Ah uh, no 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 he sucks on next gen. On current gen he's S. On next gen he's B. He absolutely sucks on next gen. I'll go A. I'll go A. 
Honestly, if we're not talking about chance combined, Dikembe is probably better than Jokic. So yeah, I'll go Jokic in A tier. Vus, Vus are just fine. These like C tier. This Ewing, surprisingly, surprisingly C tier. You know what? B tier. B tier. If you can get used to this Ewing's release, he's everything else perfectly. Like, I'm surprised by how good this Patrick Ewing is. I really am. I think he's one of those underrated cards in the game. I was pleasantly surprised using him. Pau Gasol. I mean, Gasol base kind of sucks. I'm going to go D tier. I really am. Like, is he better than Mikan? Screw it. I'm going to move Mikan up a tier. Yeah, Mikan doesn't really belong. Yeah, Pau, I think, belongs in D tier. He's weak. Precious Achua. E tier, but was good for his time. Ralph Sampson, really good for his time, but right now he's B tier. Again, Ralph Sampson Invincible will be the best card in the game on next gen, just a heads up. Ralph Sampson Invincible will be. If Ralph Sampson Invincible comes out, he will be the best card in the game on next gen. No brainer. No brainer. He'll be better than Reem because they updated his wingspan. He'll be better than Reem. He'll be better than Taco. He'll be better than Yao. Like the card that we should be. If ever, if anyone was looking for like a break the game card, Yao won't break the game because of, like, again, the Taco effect. He can't really move. Um, without the ball, and on current gen, he's not going to have to run that fast with the ball. The most broken card in the game will be next gen uh, Invincible Ralph Sampson if that card comes out. So let's just be ready. Rudy Gobert, B Gobert's not bad, and his release is pretty good. He's going to go B tier for Rudy Gobert. He's only he's all right. Shaq, B S for Shaq's. So, yeah. So we're going to go Warped Reality and B, because I don't rate that Warped Reality one at all. I don't think he's any better than Wilt. And then, no, like, no brainer S tier. Yeah, absolutely no brainer. Like, if you want to move Porzingis down, I think Wiseman deserves a spot in S tier. It's a no brainer for me. Taco Fall, no brainer. Like, you'll see it if you guys watch my squad builder that I just uploaded. If you guys watch that squad builder, um, the, like, youngest players. You guys can see I'm literally just sitting there in the squad builder, messing around, or I'm in the game plan. I'm like, it's so easy to exploit Taco. Taco is is nowhere near a flawed card. He's such a flawed card. If you don't know how to use Taco, you're gonna really struggle with him. And all that is true. And again, if you're if you don't really know how to use him on current gen, he's a liability shooting wise because of no hot zones. And if you don't know how to use him on next gen, um, he's a huge liability on defense because you can just run around tall players. However, if you know how to use Taco, if you know how to play, you basically to play defense with tall players, you just got to sit back. You got to just constantly, you can't be aggressive at all on next gen with taller guys. So basically what you have to do is you constantly just have to shadow the player and predict where they're going to go and then hope to get ghost contests and chase downs. Like that is how you play perimeter defense with the tall players. And I played against my first Taco today. My opponent did not know how to do that. Like he legit did not know how to do it. I just snatch back went by him every time and on offense you rim run whether it's speed bursting or whether you are whether you're bursting or whether you're just doing the uh the next gen tactics of pulling back you are finding some way of speed bursting to the basket with taco fall that is how you pretty much have to do it okay and we got wendell carter jr wherever anthony davis is i don't rate you know what? He's be he's as good as AD. I think he's better than AD. Let's go low A tier, I guess, for Wendell Carter Jr. Wes Unseld, you were decent for your time. D tier. E tier. I hate him. Will Chamberlain, B tier, wherever Shaq is. And I've not used these three. Don't know why they're on the list. So, yeah. This is my tier list of centers, lads. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Whether you guys agree, whether you guys disagree. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.